State Minister Herbert Kabapunsachi arrived at the anti-corruption court which was teeming with police. He has been held at Nalifenya police station since Saturday evening. Other things you now you will you will do them later. Eh? Okay. 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 also the MP of Ruchiga County, was in the company of his political assistant Brian Mugabo and Bruce Luboa, an interior designer and a friend of the minister. He was charged with corruption for directly soliciting a bribe worth 15 million shillings and receiving 5 million shillings from Hamid Mohammed of Aya Group of Companies on the 8th of April. He is also charged with conspiracy to commit a felony. Brian Bugabo was charged with being an accessory to corruption for knowingly hiding a 5 million shillings bribe in order to help the minister escape prosecution for corruption. Bruce Luboa's charges relate to conspiring to solicit a bribe of 15 million shillings from Mohammed to clear his name on allegations of sexual harassment by a former employee. This is alleged to have happened between 6th and 8th April. Kabafunzech and Luboa denied the charges before Chief Magistrate Agnes Salum, while Mugawa admitted that the minister had instructed him to pick an envelope with the 5 million shillings, which he ran off to hide until it was stressed by the investigating officers. The prosecution prayed for a sentence in relation to a plea bargain and asked Mugabo to be detained separately for his safety. Kafunzachi applied for bail on grounds that he is still innocent until proven guilty, has a fixed place of abode, no previous convictions, and is a sole breadwinner for his family and will not interfere with investigations. But the prosecution opposed his request, arguing that the nature of the offense is serious and that there is overwhelming evidence against him. They also held that investigations are ongoing since it is a minister involved and it gives him the power to interfere with the investigations. The chief magistrate has adjourned the proceedings to tomorrow, 12th April, when the suspects will return to hear the court's decision on their bail application. Outside the courtroom, the minister continued to deny the allegation, calling it a ploy to frame him. I know I'm very innocent. I'm very innocent. And this is the setup where uh, one of my constituency agents, as you saw in the court, is involved. It is a setup because I was with my daughter having dinner. I didn't, I didn't phone any call to, the, to this guy. I didn't know him. Huh? I didn't phone him, the higher man. They phoned me in the dining, eating with my daughter. They lied me that they, 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 I come. They give me evidence about sexual harassment just upstairs. He didn't call me even. It is this guy who was set up. My agent, Brian, after setting he called me. I didn't know whom I'm going to meet. When I went there, immediately they surrounded me. Ten people, they ordered me to sit. Suhail Mugavi, NTV.